Muscle Grand Prix is officially our second of four GP events in this game and it is taking place, or starting at least, on the waterfront. And like with the Coupe series, sorry, like with the Compact series we did before, this will be a three race tournament. And as to which car I'm going to use for this, well, that is a good question. Because I've used I've used almost every car in the muscle category, except for the muscle dominator, because I think I did use the tuned muscle at some point. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to use the dominator muscle, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to get on with this by using the dominator muscle. And hoping that the in-game sound does not completely overrule my voice. Although, it won't surprise me if it is still overruling my voice. But anyway, here we go. Muscle GP is go, baby. I'm also pretty sure since I'm using the Dominator... This should not be too difficult for me to pull off. And already I'm now up into the lead and trying to see if I can get through these first few corners without getting wrecked. And at the moment things seem to be going well as I have survived the carnage of the junctions. And thus, I am out in the lead with a bad fast muscle car. A car that I can certainly say has got a whole lot of motor. And I say that because that's basically what this thing more or less is. A whole lot of motor. Although it's not stopping the... Uh, I think that's the Type 2 muscle from trying to catch up to me. Although, I guess that's just a natural thing in the grand scheme of rubber banding. And where is he going? Okay, he is basically right in the wall. Alright, final lap. And I almost drift straight into a bus. I want to say I'm amazed to say there hasn't been any takedowns yet from me. I did not think the first race was going to be quite so easy, but lo and behold, here we are. I am practically leading quite easily, and I've had no reasons to take anyone down yet. Although I'd imagine that might change in a few minutes or so. It really is no wonder to say that this car was fast when I was racing it in the custom muscle. There's no question in saying that this car, when I raced against it, it was pretty damn fast. And don't really have any reason to use the boost mechanism because, well, when I do use the boost, I'm not really that much faster than this car. It doesn't really seem to be that much faster than this car's top speed alone. And already, I am seeming to pull away. And it looks as though that is going to continue. Because I am continuing to pull away. And on the final stretch, and that race was pretty uneventful once I took the lead. I might have chosen an overpowered car for this, potentially. But anyway, 
So it looks like the tuned muscle took home second. Then it was the two muscle type twos, if I'm not mistaken. The muscle type three third and the custom muscle was fourth. And yep, it is a three race tournament. So let's now go out and basically decimate the opposition in the other two races. If that's what it's going to be. I'm also amazed to say that I went rack free in that first race. In other words, I did not crash once in that race, which uh, surprises me. Anyway. And there's now... Oh, I got a double takedown. That surprises me. And now I have taken over the lead. Or briefly taken over. And I almost went straight into the fence. Literally. Huh. Three takedowns in a row. Nice. We are moving along nicely now. And already I can say this race has certainly been more action-packed than what the previous race was. Because I've already had three takedowns in a row. Oh, make that four in a row now. This race is definitely proving to be more eventful to say the least. And now I've got the takedown rampage. Cool. Now I just need to figure out how I can get the big rake takedown potentially. If one of them does wind up behind me and there's a truck in front of me. Anyways, I'm now already up to 4,700 points. And it's probably going to be more than that by the time we get to the end. Alrighty then. So, one lap is down. And I also set another perfect lap. Because I have not crashed once in this series so far. Which, at this stage, surprises me. Although it wouldn't surprise me if the third race brings me back down to Earth. In that category. Yeah, I might have chosen an overpowered car for this. Which is part impartial of why... I think the domination just seems to be so obvious now. I'm basically just running away with this at the moment. Because I'm literally driving a car that's appropriately called the Dominator. And believe it or not, the Dominator is precisely what I am playing as. It would be nice if I could basically run someone either into an RV or just... Well, into anything, really. I might consider seeing if I can do that off air, but... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, another easy win. I think there's a very good chance I will potentially sweep the Muscle GP. Because I'm literally using the Dominator. And the Custom Muscle has still not scored points. Also, we now have a tie for second. Anyways. Two. Races are down, and we still have one to go. And... Oh yeah, this one must be a sprint race. And that's already my first takedown of the race, now secured. Let's see how many more of these I can get. That's now two. 
Oh, he's trying to wreck me. I probably wouldn't be surprised if one of them wrecks me. Well, I deny one of them of a takedown. Which is probably what could have and should have happened, but... And I wreck myself. Unfortunately, I don't get the after touch. Oh well. It had to happen eventually. I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It was literally just a matter of knowing when it was going to happen. I mean, I knew it was going to happen at some point. It was just a matter of when it was going to happen. I think that's now, what, four takedowns I've had in this race alone? No, wait, hold on. I think that, I think that was three. Oh well, I'll just have to uh, get rid of this one, see if I can take them out. And I whacked myself. I don't get the after touch. Oh well. Well, I hardly ever get the flash after touch. But I do get another takedown. I really need to catch up to the leader now. Oh, the hell he is. It would be really nice if I could catch him up to him. Oh, can I get the after touch? I cannot get it too much. And hey! I get another signature takedown. Nice. Very nice. Now I are oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Oh, okay. I get the after touch. It's okay, it's fine. I get the after touch. That's now another wall takedown. How did I avoid Calamity there? I'm pretty sure that would have killed me. Had I not managed to barely avoid it. I'm pretty sure that should have been enough for me to die, but it somehow wasn't. Anyways, I'm closing in on the leader. It's cool to know that I at least get a signature takedown. I think that's now the third one I have, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways. I want to try and see if it's possible for me to make this more interesting. I mean, I've been, I've been winning by... I mean, I've been winning quite handily up to this point, so... I want to try and see if I can make this a bit more interesting. And that's what seems to be happening. And I get another wall takedown. Okay. So, at least I can say the takedowns aren't failing. Hey! Three stars on the drift. I'm now up to six seconds out in front. There's going to be a point where sooner or later... Okay. No, at least I'm up ahead. Hmm. Finish line shouldn't be too far from here, I don't think. But we'll wait and see. Okay, I have a three second lead. I think we're close to the end now, as far as I'm concerned. At least I think that's where we are. If this is a one lap race, like I think it is, then I'm pretty sure this is going to be where it ends. I think, anyway. Well, I think this is the final corner. Yeah, it is. Why did I think it was? Anyways, I win. So, I pretty much put on a clinic performance compared to my competition, and this race was won quite handily by me. I basically dominated, and that pretty much proves it. 
So 18 points to me, 10 points to the tuned muscle, 8 points to the type 3, 7 points to the type 2, 5 points to the other type 2, and nil poids for the custom muscle. How sad. And he just finished. Anyways, we now get three new cars, two new events, and we've got another reward because we got the signature takedown. So, 13,600 burnout points and 13 takedowns in the end of that GP. Although, the main reason for that was simply because I went out and put on a clinic performance compared to my competition, and yes, I will save the game. I should also mention, I turned autosave off because apparently something is amiss with the memory card, but I don't know what it is. I'll have to look into this. But hopefully, I will get this done eventually. And if I do have to move this over to another memory card, then so be it. Anyways, we have now unlocked the Coop series. Or Coupe series, as we call it in Europe. I personally prefer Coop. Oh, that's it. Okay, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> So these are basically the three coupes that we unlock. The coupe type 1, not going to waste too much of your time with these. The coupe type 2, I think I have driven this car once before. Because I drove it in one of the crash junctions. And last but not least, the coupe type 3. The one that's basically based off of a DTM car, more or less. Okay, anyways. So, 13,000 burnout points, which now puts me up to 130,300. And... Okay, so one after touch. One signature takedown, and 11 standard takedowns. So here's the third signi- Here is our third signature takedown. Tram Ram. That's a very suitable nickname for a signature takedown. Anyways, what have we unlocked this time? We have unlocked another new event. How unsurprising. Alright. So, we've got ourselves another face-off event. But before we get on with that, I have got some more crashing to do. So, let's go and check out our new signature takedown. Because I figure that might be the case. And now we're up to 23% complete. That's a very sudden jump from 21%. Whatever, anyway. So here is... Our... Where is it? Third signature takedown. Tram Ram. I assume it must have been because I literally psyched the guy out, and that was how I got it. That's the uh, likely assumption I can give. Anyways, there we go. So the Coupe series is now unlocked. We've also unlocked some more events, yada yada yada. And also, we now have... Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. And we now have three new cars available to us. The Coupe Type 1, the Coupe Type 2, and the Coupe Type 3. However, what we also have from unlocking these via playing the game, we have the Custom Coupe, the Assassin Coupe, and the Coupe DX. The other ones we don't have yet, but we will get down to those. So yeah, there we go. The Muscle GP 
is now done. And next time, we will be doing some more crashing. Coming in the next episode.